Good morning everyone I am Harpreet and this is our second part of our chapter the ailing planner the green moments role so we are going to continue from the second part of this chapter that is sustainable development the concept of sustainable development was popularized in 1987 by the world commission on environment and development in its report it defined the idea as development that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their needs that's without stripping the natural world of resources future generation would need in the zoo at lusaka zambia there is a cage where the notice reads the world's most dangerous animal inside the cage there is no animal but a mirror where you see yourself thanks to the effort of a number of agencies in different countries a new awareness has now dawned upon the most dangerous animal in the world and here the writer want to say the world's dangerous animals is human itself scientists have catalog about 1.4 million living species with which mankind share the earth it estimates very widely as regards the still uncatalogued living species biologist reckon that there three to 100 million other living species still languish unnamed in ignominious darkness mean humiliation darkness one of the early international commission which dealt interalia with the question of ecology and environment was branded commission which had distinguished indian as one of its member mr alkeja the first branded report raised the question are we to leave our successors a scorched planet of advanced desert improvised landscapes and ailing environment Mr Lester R Brown in his thoughtful book The Global Economic Prospect points out that earth's principal biological system are four that is fishery forest grassland and cropland and they form the foundation of global economic system in addition to supplying our food these four system provide virtually all the raw material for the industry except minerals and petroleum derived synthetics a large area of the world human claims on this system are reaching an us unsustainable level a point where their productivity is being impaired when this happened fishery collapsed forests disappeared grasslands are converted into barren wasteland and cropland deteriorated in the protein conscious and protein hungry world overfishing is common every day in poor countries local uh, local forests are being de- decimated in order to procure firewood firewood for cooking in some places firewood has become so expensive that wood goes under the pot now cost more than wood goes inside it since the tropical forest is the woods of woods of dr mars the par house of evolution it has been well said that forest precede mankind and desert follow the world's ancient patrimony of tropical forest is now eroding at the rate of 40 to 50 million acres of a year and the growing use of dung for burning deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizer Article 48A of Constitution of India provides that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and the wildlife of the country. But what causes endless anguish is the fact that laws are never respected nor enforced in India. Recent report of Parliament's Estimate Committee has highlighted near catastrophic depletion of the India's forest over the last four decades. India according to reliable data is losing its forest at the rate 3.7 million acres of a year For the first time in human history we see the survival not just of people but of the planet 
we have begun to take a holistic view of the very basis of our existence the environmental problem doesn't necessarily signal our demise it's our passport for the future the emerging new world vision has unhurst the era of responsibility it's a holistic view an ecological view seeing the world as an integrated as an integrated whole rather than dissolute dissociation collection of parts industry has most crucial role to play in this new era of responsibility what a transformation would be a factor if more businessmen shared the view of chairman of dupont mr ajur as woolrod who 5 years ago declared himself to be the company's chief environmental officer so we have not inherited this earth from our forefathers we have borrowed it from our children so we must take care of earth and we must protect them from being illness so that's all about our chapter ailing planet thank you have a nice day